Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Alexander Zverev is going to be out of action for a while after having surgery on his right ankle to repair three torn ligaments. Terrible news for his season, but Sasha says he is embracing the healing process. Zverev rolled his ankle and crashed on court Philippe Chatrier, wailing in agony at the end of the second set of his semifinal versus Rafa Nadal. He was forced to retire. He later came back out on crutches to complete the customary post-match handshake with Nadal and the chair umpire. He is now headed home to heal, vowing to return stronger than ever. Next week, Zverev reaches a career-high ranking of number two in the world. But before he can play again, he says his ligaments have to heal properly and he has to get full stability in his ankle. Time now for recovery and rehab. So, unfortunately, that means Zverev is likely out for Wimbledon, which starts on June 27th. I suppose it's possible he could be back in time for the U.S. Open at the end of August. He's 25, could make lots of progress by then, but who knows. Assuming Sasha is out of Wimbledon, that means three of the top 10 ranked men will miss the championships. Daniel Medvedev, who, by the way, will supplant Novak Djokovic and regain the world number one spot next week, is banned from Wimbledon, as is eighth-ranked compatriot Andrei Rublev. Another star with injury concerns now ahead of Wimbledon is Emma Raducanu. The U.S. Open champion retired from her opener in Rottingham after only seven games due to a mysterious injury in her left side. She says it somehow seized up. She doesn't know what happened. Now, last summer, Emma made it to the fourth round at Wimbledon. She electrified that nation and then, of course, followed it up with an amazing run at the U.S. Open, taking that championship. So we hope she's okay and is ready to play on the 27th. In other news, in case you missed it, Rafa Nadal revealed his congratulatory message from Roger Federer after he won his 22nd Grand Slam title. Speaking to Sky Sports Italy, Rafa said that he and Roger have a good relationship and a very special feeling between them. Rafa is now halfway to the calendar Grand Slam and two major titles ahead of Novak and Roger. That pretty much puts him in the driver's seat to make a run at Margaret Court's all-time record of 24 slams and puts him on top of the GOAT conversation, right? Well, in typical humble Rafa fashion, he is not viewing it that way. Speaking to the ATP website, Rafa says Novak still has the best shot of winning the most majors because he's been the healthiest and he's the youngest of the big three. Rafa says Novak is playing at a spectacular level and he's doing it injury-free. Federer, meanwhile, has been out for a long time, and Rafa says you can always expect something special from Roger, but it's very difficult to come back, even more so, at 40. Roger's going to be 41 on August 8th. And you got to love Rafa, because then he says it didn't bother him when all three were level, and it doesn't bother him now that he's a couple ahead. He just wants to keep on competing. And this guy is fighting for it. On Tuesday, Nadal was seen on crutches after undergoing a treatment to remove pain in his left foot. It was a process Nadal described on Sunday after winning in Paris. It's a radio frequency ablation treatment. It's designed to deaden the nerves in the foot that cause him all that pain. If it works, Nadal is hoping to play Wimbledon. Rafa has said if he can't play just using anti-inflammatories, he doesn't want to play because he doesn't want to keep using the injections to numb his foot. He says it's just too risky. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that the treatment brings relief and Rafa can play pain-free. If not, the next step would be surgery. And Rafa says coming back from that would be very difficult and could take a while. And now at 36, age is a huge factor. We hope to see Nadal back on the practice court soon. And when that happens, we'll be sure to let you know. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.